Okay, so let's talk about logarithmic equations. And specifically, we're going to be talking about this equation right here, which of course is a logarithmic equation. And I'm going to be solving this equation step by step. I'm going to fully explain the process to solve a log equation or a logarithmic equation. But uh, this particular uh, problem is actually quite easy to solve. So if you have never seen a log equation, well, this would be a perfect example, uh, kind of a starter prom, an introductory uh, prom to this topic. And if you're studying this, well, this will be a nice quick review on how to deal with logarithmic equations. But let's go ahead and take a look at the problem. We have log base 4, 3x minus 2 is equal to 2, and the objective here is to solve for x. Matter of fact, you don't even need to use a calculator, but free, uh, feel free to use one if that's going to help you out. But if you could figure this out, if you could solve for x, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to fully explain exactly how to solve a problem like this in just one second. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so log base 4, 3x minus 2 is equal to 2. What is x? And if you're like looking at this equation, you're like, I don't even understand this problem. Well, don't worry. I will explain this fully. But let's go ahead and take a look at the solution to this equation. And the solution is x is equal to 6. Okay, so if you were able to solve this, and this was actually pretty easy for you, we have to celebrate by giving you a nice slow happy face and A plus, a 100% and multiple stars. So you can brag to your friends and family that indeed you are a certified professional expert in solving log equations or logarithmic equations. They'll be like, yes, I don't even know what that is. Enjoy your math stuff. But, uh, you know, you can feel great about yourself. Be like, you know what? They don't know how to solve a log equation, and I do. But if you don't even know what's going on here, you're like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I don't even understand the problem. Well, this has to do with something that's on our calculators, right? So if you go to and look at your calculators, you'll see a button. There's a LOG button and an LN button. Now, I'm assuming you do have a scientific calculator. And the topic we are talking about here, of course, is logarithms. And this is a very, very critically important topic uh, for those of you that typically take a second, a second year algebra course, something like Algebra 2, College Algebra, certainly things like pre-calculus. You, know, um, you know, this is typically not taught in first year algebra or pre-algebra. So if you're only getting starting with algebra, it's a good chance that you haven't even uh, studied this topic. But stick around here because this is not that difficult and uh, you will be learning this, uh, learning this stuff. But let's go ahead and get into the problem. And here again is our uh, problem, right? So we have log, L-O-G, which stands for logarithm, base 4, 3x minus 2 is equal to 2. Now, you know, we're looking at this, you're like, I don't even understand this problem. What's going on? Well, before we get into this uh, problem, which is, of course, a logarithmic equation, let's take a look at its cousin, a related problem, which is an exponential equation. Okay, so I'm going to talk about this type of equation before we get into this type of equation. Now, this is what we call an exponential equation because the variable that we're trying to solve for is in the exponent location. So 4 to the what power, y power, is equal to 10. Okay, so this is an interesting question because if we're like, all right, well, what is the answer? Well, 4 to the first is uh, equal to 4. 4 to the second power is 4 squared. That's equal to 16. And we're trying to figure out 4 to what power is equal to 10. How do we solve this type of equation? Again, this is an exponential equation. Well, to solve this type of equation, we use logarithms. Okay, so exponential equations, when you see one, and of course, this is one, we need to use logarithms. And when we see a logarithm equation, a logarithmic equation, we need to use exponents. And the reason why is because these two functions are inverses of one another. So you can't really understand logarithms unless you understand exponential functions and vice versa. 
All right, now I'm not going to be solving uh, this exponential equation, but of course this is a related topic that you certainly need to know. But we're just going to focus in on this problem right here. But again, these concepts will be connected. So let's go ahead and take a look at what this all means. Okay, so one of my favorite sayings to say in math when I'm uh, teaching this subject, logarithms, is the following, bacon and eggs. Now, some of you are like, okay, Mr. YouTube Math Man, you definitely lost your mind. What are you talking about, bacon and eggs? Well, yes, indeed, I just said bacon and eggs. I'm talking about food. So here is our lovely plate, and then we have some bacon over here. Matter of fact, maybe I can draw some. Here's some bacon, and here's some eggs. So bacon and eggs. Now, what can I possibly be talking about? Well, bacon and eggs is just a little acronym. It is a memory device or, me or memory aid, excuse me, to uh, remember um, logarithms and what they stand for. Okay, so let's just take a, a quick look at, at uh, this example. And there's a lot going on here, so just focus your attention right over here first. Okay, so 2 to the 4th is equal to 16. 2 to the 4th power is equal to 16. You're like, yes, indeed, Mr. YouTube Math Man, that would be correct. But what does this mean? Well, it says take 2, right? That's a 2. We're going to multiply it by itself 4 times, and that's equal to 16. So this is just a an example of a power. But let's take a closer look at this power, and let's make sure we understand the uh, kind of names of the various parts here. So 2 to the 4th, I would say this is 2 to the 4th power. But 2, this 2 down here, is what we call the base okay, of the power. And 4 is the exponent. And 16 would be the answer that we got. Okay, So 2 to the 4th power, this uh, power has a base of 2 and an exponent of 4. And the answer is 16. Okay, so once you understand this, then we can kind of get into our little bacon and eggs kind of situation right here. So let's go ahead and define a power, okay, um, a base taken to a certain exponent to an answer this way. So we have a base to an exponent is equal to an answer. Okay, of course, we can see that example right there. All right, so no problem. Now let's go ahead and take a look at logarithms. Now every exponent, okay, something like this, every ex, uh, power um, expression, just like this, 2 to the 4th is equal to 16, can be expressed using a logarithm. It's just another way to write what's going on, to express this mathematically. But we're going to be using a different uh, kind of configuration of the base, exponent, and answer. So the way we're going to do this is a log... BAE. Now the BAE here, this is where our bacon and eggs come from. So you're going to start with the B. That's our bacon and eggs. Okay, BAE. So that's his little uh, memory device right there that I want you to know. So now this B is a subscript. It goes down here. Okay, you don't write it log B. It goes down into the bottom uh, right. It's just like uh, so. Okay, now that is the base, obviously. So we have log um, uh, to a particular base. That's the answer is equal to the exponent. So effectively, what we're going to do here is simply rewrite uh, this power, 2 to the 4th power is equal to 16, by just following the pattern here. So this would be log. Okay, what's the base here? Well, it's base 2. So we'll write the 2 right there. Log base 2, what was the answer? 16. And what was the exponent? It is 4. So log base 2, 16 is equal to 4. Now, in your calculator, okay, this LOG button that we have is always set for uh, the common log rhythm, which is um, uh, base 10. So you might be saying, well, if I want to figure out what log base 2, 16 is, okay, you can't go into your calculator and use the LOG button, but you can do something called a change of base formula. It's uh, you know it's a separate discussion, and it's super easy as well. There is, of course, a lot to know about logarithms, but uh, basically a logarithm, again, is just another way to express an exponential situation. Okay, so we have a power, and we can write it this way. So when you have a logarithm, okay, let's just kind of focus in here for a second, we can write this uh, logarithm as a uh, power okay so we need to just make sure we understand it so you can go from here to here or here to here and remember when we have an exponential equation 
Okay, let's suppose here I didn't have this 4, but I had like an x. Well, I can write this using logarithms. And when I have a logarithmic equation, I can write uh, what I need to write. I can shuffle these, this stuff around using exponents. Okay, now if this makes sense to you, then we can take the next step, which is to identify in our problem what is the base, what is the answer, what is the exponent. Remember, bacon and egg, so it's log uh, b a equals e. You want to keep that in mind, log bacon and eggs. But what's the point here? Well, we have a log equation. Okay, we're going to want to rearrange this or rewrite this using powers. So remember, a base has a certain exponent, and of course, that's equal to an answer. So we're just going to basically shuffle these things around. Here is our base. Remember, bacon and eggs. Here is our, um, our answer, okay, 3x minus 2, and our exponent is 2. Okay, so let's go ahead and write this as a power, and we're going to come up with this. We have our base, again, is, let's go back to our problem, is 4. Okay, so that's going to be 4 to what uh, power? Well, the exponent is 2. Okay, so that's going to be 4 squared is equal to the answer. And the answer uh, spot right there is 3x minus 2. Okay, so I know it's a little bit confusing if you haven't done this before. But effectively, that's what um, we need to do to solve a log equation is to write it as a power. Okay, so here is our equation. 4 squared is equal to 3x minus 2. So the next step here is going to be to solve this equation. So let's go ahead and take uh, the next step, which, of course, is having you to uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I need your support. Now, it's, of course, important to me um, personally, but really, I'm on a personal mission to help as many people as I possibly can in mathematics. Far too many people don't understand math because really they're not getting complete instruction. Okay, now, of course, I could do this problem one, two, three. I could do this problem in like 33 seconds. No, you know, I could be like here, ba, 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 ba. But if, you're, if I'm not fully explaining what's going on, a lot of you are going to get lost and you know what, if you really want adequate, you know, full math instruction, you can't, you know, really master mathematics by short little tutorials. You might get a little sense of what's going on, but you need complete, full instruction, okay? And hopefully you're getting that in school or in class, but if you are not, well, this is why I have my YouTube channel. Please come out and check out uh, my uh, material. Now, on my um, channel, you'll find over 2,000 videos from basic math to advanced math, like calculus and everything in between. So all this content is for you. But if you are learning, let's say, for example, you know, Algebra 2, College Algebra, and you really need uh, complete comprehensive help, and you like my teaching style, well, check out all my courses. I'm going to leave links to them uh, in the description of this video. But for this level of math, I would uh, suggest uh, my Algebra 2, um, or pre-calculus course, okay? But I can't grow my YouTube channel without your support, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. Thank you so much for listening to my little commercial. Now back to the problem. Okay, so here is our equation. 4 squared is equal to 3x minus 2. Now this is going to be super easy to solve because 4 squared is what? 4 times 4, that's 16. So now we have this lovely uh, linear equation. 16 is equal to 3x minus 2. So all we're going to do here is literally just solve for x. So I'm going to go ahead and add 2 to both sides of the equation. We're talking like pre-algebra stuff here. So 18 is equal to 3x. And then, of course, I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by 3. 18 divided by 3 is 6. x is equal to 6. So again, a very easy equation to solve. Uh, we don't even need a calculator. But the whole um, thing here is to understand bacon and eggs, Okay, how we can write a log uh, equation as a power equation, okay, an exponential equation. And then, you know, we kind of go from there. But that is the process. Now, let's just kind of review some main ideas here. When you have an exponential equation like this right here, 4y is equal to 10, that's an exponential equation. You've got to be able to recognize these type of equations. We're going to use logarithms to solve this type of equation. When we have a logarithmic, a logarithmic equation, like the one I just solved, we're going to be thinking in terms of uh, powers and exponents. Okay, so there is much, much more uh, to know about this subject, and certainly this is a pretty easy problem. But, uh, you know, that was my intent with this video, was just to kind of introduce or review some basic concepts. But once you have the foundations and the basics down, of course, you can build up from there.
And hopefully this little video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.